And it's second down. Ready? Play action this time with Love. Got an open man. That's CJ Uzama. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Well, this defense for the Rams, they were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And the big difference in the ball game, their ability to force turnovers, three of them in fact, being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the left hash, this from 39. And his kick is indeed good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Rams ready to go to work, and they will be led by the rookie, a man with some experience playing in big games, the fourth rounder from Georgia, Stetson Bennett. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win, like a good pitcher, without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass, not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB, but finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. Packer pressure, and down he goes. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. A tough spot here, third and 15. Looking to throw here, Bennett. Able to find the open man, that's complete. A big play there for L.A. 61 yards. I guess we got a good idea about what the game plan is for attacking this secondary. No beating around the bush with this curl. His first throw of the game is a deep shot, and it connects. That's a tendency breaker right there because normally you build up to the big. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Israel Abanacanda, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. Are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes it a 7 3 lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ready, ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. The Love's throw brought in by Watson. And he's knocked to the turf right there at the 46-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Play fake. Here's Love. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Christian Watson, the man he was looking for. But it's going to be second down. You talk about this Rams defense. They were very good in the win over Dallas a week ago. And the big thing for them was the interceptions. And you hear teams all the time talk about establishing themselves against the pass. You know, no fly zones and things of that nature. This group had a bunch of them in last week's game. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. As they've got it with a third down coming up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because... Coverage is on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. 
And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about what they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Bennett now. They'll roll him out right. And this one's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They'll run with Patterson. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. They'll go for it. Here's Bennett. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. Love now on second down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And the Rams are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Pass complete there to Nakua. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. And from the gun, here's Abanacanda. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, it was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. Bennett working from the gun. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Here's Love. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Love now. That is caught. He's going to have the first down and then so down the left sideline. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. 
And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Check white. Smith red. Black swap. Check pink. Dylan. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now Love. They will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Jordan Love, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Packers have regained the lead. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 10 to 7. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sidelines. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In the case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. Well, the road ahead a little bit more difficult now after that pick six. So dealing with this deficit here, we'll see if he can try to make amends on this drive, first and ten. Throwing after the interception. Bennett eluding the pressure right. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. On first and 10, Bennett. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. So his struggle is just continuing here in the first half, throwing the football trials. Now three interceptions. And they don't feel like they're just great plays by the defense. There's a sense that maybe he's a little careless with the football now. So some of the great coaches in the past, you know, they've always said, I can't teach you. I He's got to be careful now. He might get pulled. Throwing. Love. That's taken in by Watson. And they have a first down and well into field goal range also at the 16 now. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Open man is Uzama. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now the Rams about to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Past the halfway point of the season, and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Stetson Bennett and his teammates out there for their next possession. And he's looking to take much better care of the football here in half two after three first half interceptions. We don't have to just look strictly at the numbers here. You know what else happens to a team when you turn it over three times like that? It erodes confidence in you. And it erodes confidence in the offense. And now you have the defensive guys looking over and saying, what is going on here? And instead of playing for the team, they're playing angry and mad at their teammates. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And Bennett will look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And quickly they get to the line. First and ten, here's Bennett. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Off the play fake, it's Bennett. He's got his target. That's complete. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. And he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him two on the play. Off play action, here's Bennett. It's complete to Watt. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back. Touchdown, Rams! Israel Abanacanda with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Rams are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them to do that? What was maybe that? They, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film with those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Check white. Ready? The drive starts with a carry by Dillon. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw now, here's Love. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. Breaks a tackle. 
They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And he gets it down to the 32, and now they're in the hurry up. He's tackled at the 32 yard line. Second down throw coming from Bennett. Flush to his right. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll give now to Abana Kanda. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Bennett. They'll set up the screen to Abanacanda. Touchdown! Israel Abanacanda from four yards out. And the Rams are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. And Bennett will try to throw for this. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion. And that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and ten. Ready? Love. Incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Go. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. On now is the Packers punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Bennett fakes a handoff. Now to throw. That's caught. This is a bad camera. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Bennett now off play action. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. The fullback one. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. 
Now they've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. Throwing on first down, Bennett escaping the pressure right. And that one going to come up short, low throw. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Here we go. Here we go. Clock. 10. Ready. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Over the middle, complete. That's Reed. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run with Wilson out of the shotgun. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? On play action. Love to throw. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Byron Young, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Hey. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Under pressure, they got him again. And his defense here going to burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. He'll return it from the six. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. So it's Bennett and the Rams. Down 24-21, 2.07 remaining. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. On second down, it's a bad candle. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Just the one timeout remaining as they try to navigate this two-minute drill. First and ten. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Second and six coming up. Bennett. Got his man. It's Bo Melton. Here's first down. Now Bennett, short throw, it's Higby. Very sharp here to start this drive, three for three. Yeah, I like the way he's running this two-minute drill. Very sharp, very precise in throwing the football. Sliding out of the pocket. Short throw, it's Higby. Hey, you got your first down. Get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. On a completed pass, got to get down quickly and call a timeout. On the handoff, Abanacanda. 
And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now there's the timeout. Signal four with two seconds to go. And the field goal unit likely trying to send this one to overtime. And his kick here is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. So advantage Packers here. They'll possess the ball first with a chance to win it here in overtime. And we will not see a return to start overtime. It'll come out to the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Charles, you think back to halftime, they had the big lead. They were in control of this game. They lost that lead. But ultimately, right now, with the ball in overtime, a chance to win this thing. And you know each guy's telling his teammate, just let it go. Don't worry about it. We're starting fresh right here. What happened before does not matter. What happens right now and going forward, that's what matters. Let's find a way to win this game. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Play fake. Here's Love. He finds his receiver, Watson. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. First down going to the air with Love. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Slice blue. They'll throw again. Here's Love on second and ten. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 28. Right. Right. Love, they go play action now. Short throw to Musgrave. And the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. We'll play only the one overtime here. If time runs out, it'll be a tie as they come up on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Byron Young in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. Let's go. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Love now. is going to be incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they have regained the lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT and now to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Well, it's pretty simple now. They need a field goal out of this drive to extend overtime or obviously, Charles, a touchdown to win it. Yeah, I'm taking the defense's perspective on this one, partner, because now they know with a three-point lead, they can afford to give that up because you just keep playing, right? The overtime gets extended. But if you give up the touchdown, it's game over. So on offense, every play you make, You've got to try and get just a little bit more out of each one in order to try and get to the end zone because they're going to play everyone back, keep everything in front. Throwing here on third, Bennett. And that is incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. 
Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. Baby, I'm my own hype, man. Yeah. Run it back, run it back. 